So, I've got to be honest with you, this episode of Carbonary had a lot to love in it. I must say, I kind of liked it a lot more than last week's. Granted, there were certain things in this episode that really kind of brought it back for me, but not too much. I still kind of enjoyed it. Granted, I thought to myself, is Tetsuo Raikai watching Evil Dead? Because when it kind of kind of turned into a badass, he kind of just had that weapon that he's been using the whole entire time on his severed arm. I thought to myself, he ain't Ash Williams, so you could just stop it right now. He ain't Ash Williams. And I, just, I thought to myself, is this scene going to end with him saying groovy? Because if it does, I will cause a 10 out of 10 anime. I will call this the anime of the year. The anime of the lifetime, if I actually did that. I didn't do that, it's kind of like... Araki, you missed an opportunity there to be a complete babe, and you missed it. I thought to myself, nah, fam, why would you not do that? But still, this episode was kind of cool, I must say, in the sense we actually kind of saw a coma, like, kind of in his worst state. We saw a coma kind of beating up the whole entire thing that actually happened last episode. Him kind of blaming himself the entirety of what's happened so far. Talking's death was his fault. What happened to Mumei? If he didn't actually meet Mumei, none of this would have happened to her. And he kind of blamed himself the entire thing. I thought to myself, okay, so we see him at his, like, worst state. His worst state has been this whole entire anime since episode one. This is the worst thing he's actually seen, the worst thing that's actually happened to him. We've seen him kind of breathe strong up, strong up about this whole entire thing. I thought to myself, okay, so we've actually seen his transition from this, his character. And I thought to myself, it's actually kind of neat. Then Karusu returns. I thought to myself, well, Karusu came back. I thought, that's kind of neat. In a sense, basically, at one point, Ikoma's just sitting there going, freaking hell, this is all my fault. And then he sees a Kabane, and he goes, freaking out, Kabane! And he kind of just runs away and goes inside the actual ship. But in the end, we actually see Karusu return with his awesomely large amount of hair. And I thought to myself, freaking hell, he's looking pretty good. And then, I thought to myself, it's really coincidental. I was like, this is like the most coincidental thing in the world. Like, I thought to myself, I happen to be on the exact same beach that Ikoma landed on. I thought to myself, by some sheer luck of writing, he managed to get there. I thought to myself, I want to kind of know more about what's going on. And also, he had a doctor with him as well. In a sense, I kind of thought to myself, okay, so he actually managed to kind of cap capture the doctor as a hostage. I thought to myself, okay. And then in the end, we saw a coma turn into a badass completely. He actually used that serum, that accelerator, his accelerant, actually turns him into that badass Carbonari, the kind of Carbonari we saw with Horobi after what happened with the new heart. We saw that happen to a coma. I thought it was actually kind of neat. In a sense, he basically says to... Kurusu and the doctor says, I've got to go kill Beaver and save Mume because I want to become that person I can be proud of. And he turns into that thing. And I thought to myself, okay, so he turns to a bad. So next week it's going to be a pretty hellish final, my son. It's going to be Beaver versus Ikoma. And it's going to be really fantastic, I must say. Then we get to Beaver's plan. The whole entire thing with Kongo Gako and Kongo Gako falling before him. His plan, up to the point of releasing all his Kabane, kind of accelerating what was going on, was actually kind of neat. In a sense, he basically managed to actually turn the Shogun using his own weapon that actually Bieber had, the Bieber, the Bieber's weapon that basically the Shogun picks up and goes, oh, this is the thing, this is a, this is the remnant of, of our past. And he goes, yeah, it's the thing, that, it's the only thing you gave me this whole, in my whole entire lifetime. Picks it up and actually he opens it and cuts himself. And at that point, what happens is a Shogun turns into a Kabane. And he goes, Anyone else around you could be a Kabana. You can't tell who is who. In a sense, and then basically it kind of rounds up the suspicion of everyone around them. And it just kind of turns to mass chaos. Everyone's killing each other. I thought to myself, if it went with that, if it kind of, if he kind of just stood there and watched, sat on the chair, stood there and watched, and everyone basically killed each other, that would have been freaking me, I must say. That would have been a nice thing to see, since Kongo Gakko being in Pentacle Fortress that even the Shogun said originally, him just kind of, just sitting there, just watching everything happen, being pretty freaking it, I must say. But then he kind of got ruined when he just kind of released all those Kabane and kind of made that black smoke. It just kind of took it away from me a little bit. I thought to myself, it could have been neat just seeing everyone just kill each other, seeing Kongo Gakko fall in their own hands, Beaver not doing anything other than actually killing the Shogun himself. And also, how he actually sent off the Shogun was actually pretty neat because in the beginning, we kind of see, saw more remnants of Beaver's past. We see him kind of saying, my my father was a cowardly man and we kind of see him like slash Beaver and then he kind of goes it wasn't me it was fear but then we have to kill the Shogun he goes it wasn't me that killed you it was fear and I thought to myself freaking yes that was kind of freaking neat line I, li I like that I thought to myself it was uh, it was really neat up to that point to see everyone just kill each other I thought I thought that's what his plan is going to be his plan will be to kind of allow Kongo Gakko fall in everyone else's own hands Beaver not really raising a finger to do anything but then it kind of just accelerated the whole entire process of releasing all this Kabani that he had kind of making the black smoke so in the end Mume because he actually turns Mume into a new heart which actually learn is the actual proper name for the thing or the fused colony we actually know that's actual proper name for it I thought to myself, okay, but there was one thing that struck me. 
It's the whole idea when Karusu says to Ikoma, look, that, because Ikoma doesn't want to do anything. Ikoma can't go back and then Karusu's all like, well, just sit there and die, fam. They're like, you don't want to do anything. Screw you. And he kind of just leaves. And then what happens is he goes back to Ikoma after and says, look, Ikoma, that, that stab you got the heart, like, next to your heart was done like kind of a position aim it can't have been done like without anything it says it took a long time it wasn't it was just shy of your heart it couldn't it couldn't have done anything else it was precise aiming and he basically at that point he kind of says well probably Mume saved you and he kind of goes freaking hell Mume saved me and I thought to myself of course because she's brain controlled she still has a semblance of her brain left it's one of those things that always happens in these kind of developments in essence basically when you realize when someone's brain controlled they will still have a bit of their brain left they can actually still compute compute if i take the word correctly compute correctly without actually being brain controlled they still have a little bit of themselves left i thought to myself ah oh, freaking hell like there's only two things that really struck me is Karusu's return and when he said that Mume actually might still have a bit of her like brain left she still is able to control herself and then Mume basically seeing those butterflies and we kind of also see what the butterflies are we actually know why she sees those butterflies because the butterflies actually send off a person's soul they come to collect the soul and send it off and she's seeing all these butterflies that she's kind of just walking through and then she turns into the actual new actually turns into the new the new being the the actual fused colony i thought stuff okay so she turns into it granted a little bit of symbolism with the wings was kind of like araki it's like it's kind of not even subtle mate i was like you want to be more subtle about that but it's just overall i can say this episode was actually kind of cool i liked it i liked it a lot the ending was kind of really 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 pumping for next week it's kind of one of those really really pumping parts of the episode it kind of just got you hyped for next week it's really really freaking well done animation was kind of neat at that point as well in essence really up to this point it's been a lot of stilted shots i've been running many shots but i can honestly say the animation's been freaking great it's been kind of hit and miss the animation this week's one kind of brought it back slightly it's actually kind of some nice shots in here i liked it i liked the whole scene when ikoma is turning in to that kind of badass cover narrative that scene was kind of neat i liked it but it's just certain things that kind of makes you realize that uh, still kind of just there's certain things still that just need to be sorted out I, Granted, well, next week's the final episode, so I don't think it's going to get sorted out. But still, I would have liked it to be written slightly better in certain points. And Beaver's plan was cool up to the point of when he could release all of Kabane onto everyone else and to call it for himself. The actual plan would have been neat if he just kind of allowed for everyone else to kill each other in that whole entire place. But he didn't, I thought to myself, okay. But, let's say, freaking cool episode overall. Karusi returned, Samurai Jack came back, I thought to myself, freaking yes. Because I was waiting for his return, I thought to myself, how the name of Christ is going to return, how the return was kind of contrived, but I was like, okay, at least he returns. So, yes, with all that said, I've been the driver. If you would like, do leave a like, it doesn't cut to fit. If you have enjoyed my content as a whole, and you do find yourself to subscribe, do subscribe because it does have quite a bit. But with all that said, I've been the driver, and I will see you guys later.